good morning students today we are going to discuss about the modern construction materials part 2 this mainly includes ceramics plastics and composite materials as we all know that there are variety of modern construction materials used nowadays it is mainly due to its ambience cost reliability durability friendliness and easy to adopt technology in the part 1 of modern construction materials we have already discussed about architectural glass in this part 2 we will be discussing about ceramics plastics and composite materials in part 3 we will be discussing about thermal and acoustic insulating materials decorative panels waterproofing materials let's start with ceramics Ceramics is made from mixture of minerals typically silica sand with a clay binder and some impurities and water. They are fired at higher temperature than bricks and it has greater density, strength, hardness, resistance to chemicals. The different types of ceramics used are fire clay bricks and tiles, terracotta, fans, stoveway vitreous china vitrified tiles and porcelain fire clay bricks and tiles they are made from fire clay its main constituents are silica and alumina they can withstand high temperatures it is used in lining of chimneys boilers fireplaces etc they are also used for flooring and roofing next is terracotta they are burnt earth they are made from yellow to brownish red clay floor tiles waste pipes coppings are made of terracotta fans they are glazed form of terracotta or stoneware they are used for cladding flooring and dadoing next is stoneware they are similar to fire clay they contain higher proportion of glass they are used in tiles and drainage pipes next type is vitreous china it is a mixture of clay feldspar and quartz they are stronger than earthware they have water absorption very low that is 0.5 percentage they use for sanitary ware next type of ceramics is vitrified tiles these are ceramic tile with low porosity they are made by hydraulic pressing of mixture of clay quartz feldspar and silica they mainly use for floorings next is porcelain they are similar to vitreous china but made of purer material clay kaolin and china stone are added to it these are used as electrical insulators next type of modern construction material is plastic plastic is also used widely in many types of construction works each plastic material has its own peculiar properties to suit its particular uses the success of plastic as an engineering material will depend on the selection of the variety of plastic the general properties of plastic which make it a very good construction material is first one is appearance the plastics are available as transparent as well as colored form suitable pigments are added in the process of manufacturing which make it attractive second property is its chemical resistance that is they offer great corrosion resistance due to chemicals next property is dimensional stability that is the thermoplastic types of plastics can be easily reshaped and reused next is the durability of plastics 
they have sufficient surface hardness. They also have electrical insulation property. So they are used as linings for electrical cables and for electronic tools. Next is finishing. Any type of finishing treatment can be given to the plastic. Fire resistance. Plastics made of cellulose acetate are burnt slowly. PVC made plastics do not catch fire easily. Plastics made of phenol formaldehyde and urea formaldehyde are fireproof materials. Next is fixing. The fixing of the plastic material is so easy. They can be bolted, drilled or glued. Humidity. The plastics made of PVC offer great resistance to moisture. Next is the melting point. Generally, plastics have very low melting point, but thermosetting type of plastics are having higher melting point than the thermoplastic type plastics. To improve the heat resistance of the plastics, glass fiber reinforcement is provided in its structure. The next property is optical property. Some plastics are transparent and some are translucent or semi-transparent, which allows light but changes the light ray directions. An important property of plastic is recycling. It can be used for drainage pipes, fencing, handrails, carpets, benches, etc. Next is sound absorption. By the saturation of phenolic resins, acoustic boards are formed. Generally, for theaters, seminar halls, this types of acoustic ceilings are used. Next property is strength. Generally, by reinforcing the fibrous material into plastic improves its strength. Thermal property. The thermal conductivity of plastic is very low. So plastics are used as thermal insulators. They have very good weather resistance. To prevent the problem due to exposure to sunlight, plastics are incorporated by fillers and pigments which help to absorb or reflect the UV rays to surface. Next is the weight of plastics. We all know that the plastics are very light in weight and easily transportable to any place in large quantity. Now let's see the uses of plastics in building construction. First one is flooring. The plastic material can be used for flooring. For example, PVC and polyethylene used are less prone to wear and tear. It also decreases the sound pollution level. It is easy to clean. The next use is roofing. It protects outer surface of the roof from damage by using two layers of plastic material. Upper part is made of colored thermoplastic olefin or vinyl while the lower part consists of polyurethane form which consumes less energy and keeps the interior of the house cooler. Another use of plastic is in insulation. The polystyrene, PVC, polyphenolic, formaldehyde urea and polyurethane are usually used for insulation purposes. Next is the use in constricting walls. Sandwich wall panels are made from various plastic compounds like PVC, plasticized plates, polyurethane forms, asbestos cement covering and polyurethane form core, polystyrene foam core, polyester laminated sheet and polyurethane foam core. Plastic can also be used as wall linings. Adhering film made of vinyl coated fabrics or paper vinyl, sprayed lining polyurethane, laminate like melamine and phenolic plastics, polyester, wall tiles with PVC polystyrene, coating, with polyvinyl acetate. Plastic is also used in making pipes made of PVC, CPVC, acrylonitrile, 
butadiene, styrene, etc. They are very lightweight and easy to install. They are chemical and water resistant. Plastic can also be used for making windows. Polycarbonate is mainly used. They are strong, clear and lightweight. They are burglar proof. Two plastic material, vinyl and fiberglass are used to make window frames which make them strong, durable and inexpensive. Plastics are also used in making doors. Stiff polyurethane foam core with fiber reinforced plastics that is FRP coating can be used for making doors. They are strong. Next type of modern construction material is composite materials. Now composite material is a material composed of two or more distinct faces. That is, there will be a metric face and a dispersed or reinforcing face. As you can see from the figure, there is a fiber or filament reinforcement being combined with a metric face to form the composite material. The properties of composite materials are different and superior to those of the original components. They have many advantages over traditional materials. The main advantages are that they provide heat resistance, they are resistant to corrosion, they increase rigidity, they have high resistance to chemical attack, they have high strength and stiffness, they are light in weight. Now let's see some examples and applications. Some common examples of composite material include reinforced concrete and masonry, composite wood such as plywood, reinforced plastics such as fiber reinforced polymer or fiberglass, ceramic matrix composites, metal mat matrix composites. Their application include in structural components, cladding and facades, roofing, doors and windows, acoustics and rehabilitations and fabrication of unique structures and components. Now we know that composite materials mainly consist of a matrix face and a reinforcing face. The matrix face can be further classified as polymer matrix composites, metal matrix composites and ceramic matrix composites. Polymer matrix composites may be a thermosat, a thermoplastic or rubber. Based on the matrix material or the matrix phase, the composites are classified as metal matrix composites, ceramic matrix composites or polymer matrix composites. The metal matrix composites may contain a metric phase like aluminum, magnesium, iron, cobalt or copper. The reinforcing phase may be a ceramic phase like oxides, carbides, etc. or a metallic phase like lead, tungsten, molybdenum. The ceramic matrix composites may contain a ceramic matrix phase and a reinforcing phase such as embedded fibers of other ceramic material. Polymer matrix composites it may contain a metric phase which may be a thermoset such as unsaturated polyester or epoxy or it may be thermoplastic such as polycarbonate or polyvinyl chloride or nylon or polystyrene or the metric phase may be a rubber. The reinforcing phase may be embedded glass, carbon, steel, or Kevlar fibers. Now let's see the classification of the composites based on the reinforcement phase. They are mainly classified as particle reinforced, fiber reinforced or structural. The particle reinforced is further divided as large particle or dispersion strengthened. The fiber reinforced are classified further into continuous 
that is aligned or discontinuous which is short. The structure may be classified as laminates and sandwich panels. The figure below shows the arrangement of the fibers or the particulates or the laminates in the composites. Example for such composites are particle boards, FRP, laminated sheets, glass reinforced boards, ply boards, sandwich panels. Based on the reinforcing material or the reinforcing phase, the composites are classified as particulate composites, fibrous composites or structural composites. The particulate composites may contain the composite with random orientation of particles or composites with preferred orientation of particles. In case of fibrous composites, the short fiber reinforced composites contains composites with random orientation of fibers and composites with preferred orientation of fibers. The long fiber reinforced composites contain the fibers in unidirectional orientation or in bidirectional orientation. The structural composites may be laminate composites which consists of several layers with different fiber orientations bonded together in an integral piece or it may be a sandwich panel which is a fabricated by attaching two thin but stiff skins to a lightweight but thick core. These figures show some of the examples of fibrous composites, particulate composite, composite laminate structure and composite structure sandwich. So that's all about the modern construction materials part 2 which includes ceramics, plastics and composite materials. In the part 3 of the presentation, we'll deal with the remaining types of modern construction materials. Thank you.